Aquarius, what up, though? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general message today for the sign of Aquarius. Wherever that resonates at for you in your birth chart, keep in mind we all do have an 11th house as part of our birth chart, and time and energy are fluid. So take what resonates here today, leave the rest for someone else. Uh, and these readings are timeless as well. So whenever you do stumble across this message, there will be something here for you to help bring you clarity and confirmation, to help empower you, to help you align. Aquarius, tapping into your energy today, I use this faceted garden oracle deck along with this keepers of the light oracle deck to just help me catch the vibe as I'm connecting with the collective energy. Tap into what spirit's trying to say. <clears throat> We're going through a lot of you know huge shifts astrologically speaking at this time i'm recording this reading in the midst of eclipse season so we're heading um toward this solar eclipse we just jumped over into the new year into aries season and it looks like this is very much in alignment with that i'm seeing a huge shift for you aquarius possibly even a surprising um or sudden change or shift it really feels like aquarius you're jumping timelines here i see this energy of spring and summer coming through um kind of sandwich sandwiching in this cave energy so i'm feeling like aquarius had to you know go off into the darkness or go off into a cave to some degree gemstones right to be formed to um be solidified and now it looks like you're at the at the part where you're being born into this new world into this new season this new life so we have gaia with earth connection coming through it's about staying grounded right it says be mindful of the planet come back to earth stay grounded we have lord krishna coming through with devotion it says trust your spiritual guidance your commitment has been recognized and you are loved unconditionally and then we have holy amethyst um, with divine alchemy to me this is always similar to the temperance energy of 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 alchemy of transmutation of patience of um, turning one thing into another turning that lead into gold right it says move beyond your current challenges and focus on what it is you desire then on the bottom of the deck here we have this odin card with psychic insight the, these psychic energies these intuitive energies have been coming through very heavily for the collective especially over these past couple of weeks um and this says your third eyes open see the truth for what it is and follow your intuition so intuition seems to be on 10 at this time just collectively speaking so definitely honoring and trusting that at this time um, and it feels like we are literally smack dab in the middle of two worlds and this is where we really just go within and, and we let things happen right take care of yourself Aquarius we're gonna jump into this tarot I'm gonna pray first king of cups on the bottom of the deck here so maybe a little bit of emotional turbulence happening as well and then with that gaia and divine alchemy it's like staying grounded and and continuing to um stay focused on your healing journey and 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 um stay focused on the light but yeah i'm gonna pray real quick feel free to join me and then we'll dive into this message holy divine mother and father holy spirit spirit guides guardian angels archangels ancestors messages for the aquarian family collective and placements tonight for their highest good anything aqua needs to hear or know any messages that'll bring aquarius clarity and confirmation any messages that will empower them any messages that will bring healing wisdom understanding any messages that will help aquarius align with their highest selves their highest timelines their best lives of course above all any messages here that will help um, the aquarian collective align with the highest divine will would be greatly appreciated all praise and glory to the most high forever and ever um, amen okay. what's the theme of aqua's message today what's the theme of the message. Queen of Swords, Queen of Pence. We gotta do what's best for us. Gotta open up our energy to receive. 
find our center, find our stability. Tower, yeah, something's breaking down here. So let's jump into the tarot. Well, wow, there we are with the temperance energy, actually. Sagittarius energy coming through. And there you are, balancing that light and that dark. I see your angels, your guides surrounding you, really having your back at this time. So what is going on with Aqua, please, Spirit? What do we have at the heart of Aquarius energy? What is Aqua's energy? Magician. Wow, just like tower. Yeah, something breaking down, right? Six of Pence, Queen of Pence. This is where Aquarius has really just been putting their time, their energy, their focus on whatever it is. You're building this stability, building this abundance, building this peaceful life. Um, this energy has been coming through collectively, and this depiction is perfect for this energy especially being out here with the magician for you aquarius where attention goes energy flows right now it's very very important to be extremely mindful of where our mind is at during this time as we are kind of um crossing this abyss stepping through this portal right it's a very very powerful time for planting seeds but the message that's been coming through from spirit has been collective dream bigger. This is really the time where we have to dream past our perceived limitations, right? And so this is really where we have to check in with our own self and where are we placing limitations? Where has society, where has programming, <clears throat> our communities placed limitations upon us that have kind of stuck there, right? So it's definitely a time of, of breaking down barriers of breaking past limitations and with this page of cups dreaming bigger absolutely nothing is impossible there is limitless possibility at this time and with the magician we have all the tools at our disposal at this time to make this happen so Aquarius it looks like you're on a mission it looks like you've pulled your energy from a lot of people places situations that were not serving you and here here's the rebirth right here is the clean slate so what energies are crossing aquarius right now please spirit the transformation the metamorphosis that you've that you know you've been through the transformation that you've been through through this old life breaking down through everything you've been through and now pluto jumping over into aquarius it's like this is really where aqua you spread your wings what energies are crossing aquarius right now please spirit ten of swords this <laughs> this old and we have the five of wands two of swords as well so it's really just feeling like this energetic clearing of this old story right you truly have aquarius you have had to you were the one because here I, I'm connecting with Aquarians who have broken the old way of doing things, whether this was in family, in work, in religion, in spiritual beliefs. This is like very Plut Plutonian energy that I'm feeling here where it's like you're, you're breaking it. You're doing it a new way. Um, you are not just going with it because it's what you were taught or what you know right you're really connecting to this authentic space within you and you're fighting to honor that with the challenge coming through as the five of wands two of swords it may feel like you're kind of getting through some blockages at this time things may feel a little bit chaotic it may feel like um there's a lot going on here but ultimately this is what I see here is this is about you following that inner pull toward this new beginning, right? It's very much an internal thing happening here where you are being guided to this new world. Um, but almost it feels like you're having to fight every step of the way. Star, there you are healing, shining in all your glory and aligning with these manifestations right so let's jump a little dive a little deeper five of swords there's been a lot of endings a lot of betrayals a lot of change what i'm seeing here with the six of cups to the judgment fool just simply put because literally this is like an, an entire old life so there's soul contracts soul cycles 
dynamics that you incarnated to experience Aquarius and to heal through, to release. Um, this is just big. I'm having trouble finding the words. I mean, this feels truly like you're moving to the next level of your spiritual journey here very much being intuitively guided but you've overcome so much judgment right this is where the angel blows that final trumpet and we rise out of that old life into this new dimension so you're moving from a different space you truly have changed so much here this to me feels like alignment with destiny this to me feels like um energetic karmic victory like successfully completing a level of the game kind of type energy here so there's an opportunity to write a new story here aquarius are we trying to bring any of that old story with us what is incoming for aqua what's incoming energy for aquarius please spirit. <clears throat> world eight of pence justice wow high priestess three of swords out here this is a real life release and completion this is a real life karmic completion high priestess again this is very much aquarius between you and the divine you are being led step by step into union with what is for you it's like you're building a whole new world a new life you're coming into union and contact with new opportunities with new soul family here wow what a huge shift from one life to the next and really there's this overall energy of not like dwelling on the past not looking at the past with rose-colored glasses right and to truly bring yourself into the present moment into the state of gratitude for being able to make it to where you are here and now being able to step into this energy of co-creation with the divine with the cosmos here and coming into alignment with that this is beautiful 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 so five of cups nine of cups it is kind of like the energy of not crying over spilled milk because this full cup that is here is everything that you wanted and more Karmic balance. Wow. Aquarius. Wow. Just wow. This is huge. I'm at a loss of words. Let's check out the advice. There's really no... This is so many majors out here, though. This is, like, huge. This is a huge life pivot point. This is a huge soul journey pivot point, it feels like, for you, family. What is the advice for Aquarius? As soon as I said that, Spirit brought me right over... To this odin energy again which is all about your inner connection what flew out was the six of wands it's like your your guides your angels your higher self the divine right now eight of cups nine of pentacles is leading you away from some things you might be being guided to make some more difficult decisions but you are being led into a place of victory a place of empowerment a place of blessings and this is very much internal and vibrational as well so it's like your frequency is truly shifting as you leave this old world behind and you are turning the lead into gold every um leaden dense situation that you've been through and experience you've had you've turned it into something where it's like now you can fly that's kind of how it's coming through right now you can fly aquarius spread your wings let yourself be seen right share your story share your light you are the star of of right the tarot the star is your card aquarius shine that light and then we have this virgo energy as i say that where it's like you've made it to the top of the mountain right you've you've went within you've went into that isolation you've went in inside and you found the light. So now is where, you know, we're called to shine it. 
in whatever way that may be, whether it's sharing your story, sharing your music, sharing your art, sharing your hope and faith, sharing whatever it may be, your light, your frequency, even just you, Aquarius, holding that frequency and everywhere you go, you are spreading that like wildfire, right? So this is a time where you continue to release any energetic baggage or weight, right? And you truly trust that the divine is um, guiding you to your highest timeline for your best interest and for all those involved. So this is where you really put it, put your energy and focus into yourself. You bet on yourself, Aquarius. You loosen your grip and trust. It's like surrender. Let's go. Let's grab some Oracle cards. Where are we at on time? Straight up, Aquarius, huge, huge, huge message. Very fulfilling opportunity, or at least an opportunity here with so much potential for fulfillment. Your crown chakra is wide open right now, family. Your third eye is wide open. You're seeing things as they truly are and being divinely guided. What's the message for Aquarius? transmuting pain you have divine alchemy you have temperance and you have the fool's embrace transmuting pain we're gonna read that it's master builder number 22 and then we have the dream thief 13 refusal of the call and closing the door wow 22 33 we got five and four two three four five you might be seeing one two three four two three four three two one um Connect with the signs you're receiving. Connect with the synchronicities, family. Let's read this fool's embrace. Let me know what this says to you. If this was the only card we pulled today, this the only message that came through for Aquarius, what would this message be saying? What does it say to you? I love seeing things through your lens. Drop it in the comments below. What do you feel psychically, emotionally? What do you see, sense, any visions, any downloads? Fool's embrace. <clears throat> transmuting pain allowing life to love you and the experience of both slash and the pain of life is sometimes unbearable when we're in it no when we're in it we think that that pain that loss that betrayal will always be woven through our continuity of existence and we're kept hostage by the way we identify with the pain and what we make it mean if we let it, it becomes etched into us like a tattoo. No matter where on the spectrum of pain you find yourself now, Aquarius, whether it be mild disappointment or searing loss, it's time to make peace with it, befriend it, rather than resisting it, running from it, or judging it as bad or unfair or hostile. Can you see the gift that is here? Surrender to the fool's embrace, allowing the truth to envelop you in love and compassion. What if you could learn something amazing from this? What is truly yours will never pass you by. Something better and perfect for you is waiting elsewhere. If you could come to terms with the liberation and freedom inherent in loss, your broken heart might open you up to a greater sense of humanity and compassion. As in the narrative of Tarot, the fool will be at the beginning of your life's adventure and at the end when you've integrated all the wisdom you've accumulated along the journey. He will never let you down or lie to you. He will, however, teach you how to revel in both the beauty and desperation of life quote unquote both slash and this and that will always be true remember the pearl cannot be created without the gritty sand causing discomfort and acting as a catalyst in the oyster your quote unquote pearl is discovered in radical acceptance that everything has value and all is well now and will be well remember that today as you feel the fool's embrace all is well now and will be well remember that remember that what do they say every storm cloud has a silver lining so let's grab one of these um this is the white light oracle by elena fairchild let's grab one of these for aqua what's the message for aquarius please spirit
the sun of 417 hertz solar plexus energy which actually came as i say that i see a bunch of yellow um some of y'all 417 hertz connecting with solar plexus um frequencies or meditations clearings ultimately though this is this is our power right this is our will our power so connecting with that within yourself as well and honoring that space and that's kind of repeating throughout this message so this is number 37 energy of 10 which is a one in numerology it's a new start right so this one that we're reading is called the oracle of chaldea here's the card here it says continue on your healing journey with enthusiasm but without forcing things to happen more quickly than feels natural <clears throat> Sometimes the body will be ready to let go whilst the mind is, still hold, mind is still holding on. At other times, the mind may need to be patient as the body processes an experience. Trust in your own timing and rhythm. There's no need to be impatient or judge yourself. You're summoning the spiritual fortitude to tackle an issue which has previously held you back. When the time is right, the healing shall happen more easily than if you tried to push forward prematurely. Things are going to work out. Be positive. There are times when being present in the body and feeling our truth is challenging. We may be unsure how to hold space for our own emotional and psychological states. Humans are complex creatures, and the authentic healing journey requires us to have patience with ourselves. We need to know when it's safe to delve into a matter with full faith that even if things feel out of control, we're connected to a powerful, supportive spiritual network and our own wisdom, and that's enough to handle whatever arises, even if we tremble somewhat during the process. <laughs> We can imagine that the wounded self lives in a room in the mansion of our soul. When that room has not been entered in a long time, it may become a scary place in our minds, a place to avoid. That's part of how humans protect themselves. Living, living in such a split and defended state is not tenable forever, but for a time it can serve as a useful it can serve a useful purpose, allowing us to build the strength and awareness that we need to address a situation. We do what we can to grow and prepare to enter that room, to open it and rescue the beautiful aspect of our soul that's been waiting for such a time to come. To prepare for such a heroic healing moment, we can connect with the spiritual realms of light as a source of love and strength. During such downtime with the divine, we can learn about ourselves beyond our wounded parts. While we know we have some healing to do, we also understand that alongside our vulnerability, there's courage, wisdom, and confidence. By acknowledging our wounds and also affirming our strengths, we ready ourselves to take our next steps. The Chaldean is the devotee to the light of spirit. When the oracle of Chaldea comes to you, it's an encouragement to rely on the light. Embrace practices that help you feel connected to the light. Grow your trust in the spirit within you. This is not about ignoring where you need healing. It's about knowing at a deep level that you're loved, spiritually guided, divinely held, worthy and capable of healing. <clears throat> As you trust in the spiritual light within you and your connection to the spiritual worlds increases, so too will your readiness to acknowledge and engage with that which needs healing. You feel safe and supported and ready to move on. You may feel your relationship with spirit is already strong enough to support such a pro process. In this case, the oracle is an encouragement to embrace your readiness and allow the grace of your spiritual journey to expand into all areas of your life. This oracle augurs a time a spiritual growth spurt, a forward leap on your path of healing and awakening. It's a reminder that no matter how large a challenge may loom, you can continue to grow your spiritual connection. So it's always more powerful than anything else. All right, so we're going to run through this healing process really quick as well. This one's really short. It says find a comfortable position in which to relax. If you would like to light a candle for this process, do so with care for safety considerations. You could also have a crystal or anything else that reminds you of the light placed where you can gaze upon it. Connect consciously to your breathing, noticing the flow of the breath in and out. 
Allow your breath to lengthen and deepen naturally. Let yourself become fully present in this moment. You can then imagine, feel, visualize, or intend that you are drifting into a beautiful realm of light. You may like to close your eyes or gaze at a beautiful crystal or flickering candle to help you relax and sense the light on an inner level. Allow your awareness to dwell in the soft and inviting inner realm of light. Let it be a pleasurable and soothing experience. Let the light take on various colors if that suits you. What colors feel the best? You can imagine, feel, visualize, or intend that your soul can absorb these colors with delight and pleasure, as though an inner hunger or thirst is being fulfilled, resulting in further peace and relaxation. Be in this process of light bathing color therapy for as long as it feels good for you, and when you're ready, ground yourself with some gentle physical movement, hydrate your body, and you have then completed this healing process. Sheesh. Then again, that 417 hertz, that solar plexus chakra area. Um, let's grab one of these Moonology cards, and then we will grab a message from the Kali Oracle as well to tie things together, to wrap things up. Thank you so much, Aquarius, for stopping through and showing love today. Family, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Hopefully, you were able to take something from this message. Hope it makes sense to you. You're very close to achieving your goal. Look at the bigger picture. What's up with Aqua? Step out of your comfort zone. Big North Node and energy. Um, new moon eclipse. Expect powerful change. This is literally where we're at, family. Luck is on your side, so balance spirituality and practicality. Definitely, definitely the time to connect with spirit and have that conversation. Divine Mother, what is the message for the water bearers, for my aqua placements, for my aqua peoples? What's the message for Aquarius? Lalita Tripura Sundarhe. A chapter in your life is closing and will not be reopened. This will be reason for celebration. Whatever you need to release right now shall create the space for what is divinely destined for you to manifest through her grace. You shall enjoy a change of pace and a release from intensity. So open your heart to the beginning of your golden era. Okay. To receive your divine inheritance of blessings and support for sacred fulfillment, certain karmic conditions that resonate at a lower frequency need to be cleared. Kurukala, kurukala signifies a time of rapid movement on your path and the freedom to attract what you want and need. So let go of that which does not belong in your world. Release and you shall receive eight of cups to the ten of cups family i love how these cards always 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 come through and put a bow on it right so with that page of cups again there's limitless possibility right now and an opportunity but it's like we have to there's some type of sacrifice there's something someone some part of ourselves our story our traumas that we have got to um detach from let go leave behind in in some way right if we're stepping into a new story but we're trying to bring pages from that old book it's just not going to work right then we have to write this entire new story around trying to make these random pages fit in our book right and it's going to be basically just a repeat a shittier version of the first book right so again and i know that's just symbolically speaking but and it's going to be different for everyone. But you guys, this is it right here. We all know. Whether it's that self-limiting belief, that negative self-talk, those negative habits, addictions, patterns, um, even things like um, negative habits in your daily routine, right? We know it. We all know it here. We got that connection to spirit. If we bring ourselves in we can get an answer real quick so like i said it's different for everyone but right now connecting all right because you are directly connected to the source aquarius 
and absolutely being guided into a new world. Two more fell out as well. We have Dharma of Kali and Anahata Kali as well. Heart chakra energy and the Dharma, right? Aligning with our path of destiny. It says your most abundant successes manifest when you're aligned with your integrity. You do not need to put your faith in pathways or projects that do not resonate with your deeper spiritual knowing. Everything that's happening in your life is part of how your prayers are being answered and a new order is being established. You're being led to it. And the very last card come through is Anahata Kali. Your heart cannot be contained or constrained by what has taken place in your life. Your heart wisdom and empowerment is growing and soon you shall have the wisdom and courage to accomplish something significant to your soul's journey. Trust in the invisible workings of divine love in your life. And let your heart be at peace as it guides you onward. Aquarius, gang, gang. Family, that is what I have for you today. I hope this message helped in some capacity. I hope you're able to take something with you as you step through this portal into your new world, into your dream world or nightmare world, right? Wherever wherever we're kind of headed to each their own. Um, but, but with that being said, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Um, before we tap out fully, we are going to take a second to take a deep cleansing breath, right? We're going to use our will, our intention, our visualization, our imagination, to draw in this divine cosmic energy. We're going to picture this as white or gold light. We're pulling this out of the oxygen into our body, into our aura, this white or gold light. We're going to picture ourselves filling up with that. We're going to pause, hold the breath at the top and imagine ourselves glowing brighter and brighter, as bright as you can. Then as we release, we're going to exhale forcefully, watching any negativity, any blockages, any lower frequencies, doubt, fear, anger, sadness, right? Whatever it may be. We're going to watch all of that leaving us in the form of black or gray smoke or static so the divine can help us transmute that into this light of love, wisdom, understanding, etc. So first things first, we're going to take a deep, full breath out. Completely empty your lungs and then we'll get the breath in and glow about our day. So go ahead and breathe out. Empty, 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 empty. Now breathe in. Hold it. Squeeze Mula Bandha. Lift up on your perineum. Lift that energy up your spine. Now pull it down. Lock it into your heart space. Watch yourself glowing as bright as you can. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And... Release. Aquarius, don't fall asleep, family. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I hope this message has found everybody well and in great spirits. Hope y'all have a blessed rest of your day, and I will see you beautiful beings on the next reading.